truck right now and you can barely see us because it's too dark because that's how early you have to go hunting to get in your stand. Hey, okay, never mind. So, I look, I'm gonna end up looking like an orange marshmallow. And he claims he is, but I don't think he is. Not as bad as she is. No. My, my pants are about three sizes too big for me. They probably fit me. Well, I think we need to trade. <laughs> we might have to. Okay, so if I see any deer, I'll videotape it. So nobody shot anything this morning. And now we're going to go back out and feed our stands. Even though I didn't videotape because I was really cold. How many degrees is it out? 20, if that. It's 20 degrees out. Yeah, it's really cold. My camera is even freezing right now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Stop it. <laughs> so we're giving the deer apples sure. and we're giving the deer corn. Open it up. You want to so get cute. Bags? Two smaller bags? Stop. Why are you doing that? I'm holding my face because I'm freezing. Why are you videotaping me? Kyle is an intense gamer. Mm -hmm. Totally. <laughs> You can consider Flappy Bird intense. All right. Put the camera down. Please. No. I need the videotape. No, you're going to be the one building fire. No. Come on. You're going to teach me how to build fire. Yeah, I, I'm going to teach you, but I'm going to let you do it. It's called learn, do and learn. Come on. Yeah, Put the camera down. Do. No, no, no. I'll hold the camera at the same time. Charlie. <laughs> or you could just yeah. find a place to set it down and it's not. Okay. So, okay, you guys. Birch trees here. We got plenty of white ones. Don't mix them up with popples, but these seem to be pretty much birch. Outside? I know, you take the outside thingies that are like falling off of them. Dad, I know how to do it, it's just that I can't. It just doesn't work when I do it. Kyle, you figure this out. It looks like paper, mm -hmm. it acts like paper. We used to have that in our yard before you burned the tree well, down, or took the tree down on me. Well, we don't bring, all we got is a pair of matches. We grab some birch bark, I'm gonna set that down. We're gonna make a little of this. You got some nice small ones there? I'm just breaking off small ones. And we got a nice. whole bunch of dry ones right in here too. Char, hmm? you are the gatherer. And what we're gonna do, Kyle, mm -hmm. we're gonna make a little teepee. Wait, right are we thing. making one right, can we make it in the middle of the trail? No, right here. I don't wanna and, make it uh, right here. We're gonna uh, just make a little teepee over the top of the birch bark. Mm -hmm. The small ones first. Let's make it in the middle of the trail. Okay. Yeah. It's too well, close to the grass. That work. We can do it again here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be that big. This is just a little sample, so you can figure out. You're supposed to put it in a teepee, Kyle. Thing, you guys. If you find a blowdown. That's what? probably a blowdown. See all that all that wood that fell? Mm -hmm. As long as it ain't on the ground, it's gonna be dry hanging in the air. There's another bunch of wood that's hanging down. Make your fire close to your wood source so you don't have to keep running back and forth. There's a bulldozer pile full of wood, so that's gonna be a good source for getting the wood too over there. But if it's a blowdown off a natural tree or whatever, we can use it. Okay, so we don't we gotta keep gathering wood. That's gonna be the key here. And as fast as we can once we get it going because it's going to burn itself out. Yep. Bigger right. pieces? I try to get some. We should get just a little bit more uh, wood over by it. And dry. So we gotta start with the small ones first. Hopefully get them going. If the birch bark ain't too wet here, okay? And barely getting that match going. I got the side of the bark birch bark going. Let's go. Let's go. Try down here lower. 
get it going? Yeah, I got two spots going. Now the wind's carrying it this way, so I tried to start it on the upside. Okay, now we need to... Have to videotape the fire. Yeah, it's going to go right away. So what we got to do is start feeding it and getting there, all the wood going we can, because that birch bark is not going to last very long. More the merrier here. Hey Kyle, go get more wood. Mm. What you gotta do, you guys, is make a little teepee. Mm -hmm. It's gotta always be teepeed because you want the fire to go to the center. There we go. We're starting to get the wood on fire starting to. The birch bark is about at its life stand down there. So now we're relying on the wood to take over from where the birch bark was. Keep a nice little teepee going and we get we can put bigger woods in as we get higher. That one's probably too big. We'll just keep gathering and putting in there. Yeah. Now hopefully the wind does its job and don't just go out. There is some some left down there. Come on. Some of it's catching. Some of it's catching. Yeah. Everything we've been doing is popple. I've been looking for uh, Stuff that's a little something bit. that's not popple. Okay. Fell off. It might go. Popple definitely burns. If we can get that one to go, we will. Stick it in there. I'm losing. I'm losing. Go down to that tree, Kyle, and see if you can. That's it. That might be popple too. I don't know. It's, it's starting to go. It's just taking its whole sweet time. Well, our fire is dead because we have no, not the right type of wood. Isn't that right, Dad? Yeah. We got to use something other than popple. That'll only be going for a few seconds. Dry the moisture out of the popple. Apparently this was just hanging on a branch. Yeah, what the heck? That's cool. Let me see inside. Oh wow, this is cool. <laughs> this wrapped around a That's branch. That's how they call it birch bark paper. Yeah. That would be a good fire starter for the next one. You could even leave it in its own form like that. It'll be used as a chimney. We can use that as a centerpiece. Mm -hmm. We definitely have enough of it. Let me see your small one over there though. Yep. Like, knock on this with your hand for a second. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. I mean, there's a lot. Actually, if we could get some of those slivers off the top of that birch over there, that would probably be enough to get this thing going good. Or if we can find the pieces that fell, that would be going so good too. Fire we got. This is our beautiful fire. <laughs> See how that goes? You can make a nice fire out of, out of that yellow grass right there. It doesn't stay lit as long as the only problem. No, it goes out right away. <laughs> That's why, remember how we were just breaking those little branches? Mm -hmm. You gotta have even smaller ones to go with grass.